Hello and welcome back. In this video, I will show you how to use the float interpolate to node or the f interp to node. Let's get started. So here we are in the level blueprint, and to get the f interp to node, you just right click and type f interp. And you want to select this one, the f interp to. So this node has four inputs and one output. The first input is the current value, then you have the target value, then you have the delta time from the delta seconds in the event tick, and lastly we have the interpolation speed. So in this video, I will show you a very quick and easy way to use the finterp2 node. And what we will make is that you can use the arrow keys to change the size of this cube. So when we press the up arrow key, then the cube becomes bigger, and when we press the down arrow key, then the cube becomes smaller. So let's start by selecting this cube, and from the world outliner, drag the cube into the level blueprint. So we have a reference to it. Now we want to create a variable. We'll name it value. Make sure the variable type is a float. If it's not, you just click here and select it as a float. We want to compile and change the default value to 1. Next we want to get the up and down events. So right click, type up, select this one, type down, and select the down event. So now we have events for the arrow keys. Drag the value variable into the blueprint, we want to get it, and from this variable, drag out of it, type increment, we want the increment float, connect the increment float to the up event, and now drag out of the value again, and type decrement. And we want to select this one, and connect it to the down event. Now I'll show you what it looks like without the f interpreter node, and then after that I'll add the f interpreter node to show you the difference. So let's go back to the event tick, drag out of the cube reference, type set scale, and you want to choose this one, set actor scale 3D. Connect it to the event tick, drag the value variable into the blueprint again, get it and connect it to new scale 3D. It will automatically convert the float into a vector for you. So compile and save, and when you go and play, and now change the size by pressing the up key, you will see it snaps to that size. It doesn't smoothly animate to it. So you can see when I press up, it becomes bigger, and when I press down, it becomes smaller. But it's not smooth. It doesn't, it doesn't interpolate to that size. So now we want to add the f interp to node. So go back to the level blueprint. And here, we need to get the current value. Now this current value will be the current scale of the cube. So from the cube, you drag out and type get scale, get actor scale 3D. Now here we have a problem, because this is a vector, and this is a float. You cannot convert a vector to a float, it doesn't let you do that. Now in this circumstance, we are setting the scale uniformly. So the x, y, and z values are the same. So we can just get either the x, y, or z and connect it to the current value. Now for a different circumstance, you might want to do it in a different way. But for this tutorial, I will just right click on the return value, click on split struct pin, and I'll connect any pin to the current value. Now the target value of the finterp2 will be the value variable. So we'll connect it to the target value. Now delta time is delta seconds from the event tick. And lastly, the interpolation speed will set it to 1. And now we'll connect the f interp to node to the actor scale 3D. So now when we play and test it out, press the up arrow key, 
it changes smoothly it doesn't snap to that size and it works every every time now if this speed is too slow for you then you can just change the interpolation speed so for this demonstration I'll change it to a value of 10 so that's very fast and uh, you will see that it very quickly snaps to that size it interpolates to so that's how you use the finterpto node so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please comment down below and if you have any suggestions on what tutorials I should make please comment as well don't forget to like share and subscribe and let's see if this time we can hit 50 likes now before I leave I have a very important announcement to make is that I now have a patreon page so feel free to check it out I'll leave a link in the description and I'll see you in the next video